welcome to all about wordpress in this video i'm going to show you how to add multi currency or a currency switcher to your woocommerce store using booster for woocommerce login booster has a lot of features and they have a lot of modules it's not able to cover all the modules in a single video maybe i will do it in my upcoming videos so for now I'm just going to cover the multi currency module in this booster plugin. This is one of the best plugins and it's of course free too. It has more than 70,000 plus installations. So it's a very good one. So you can see the modules over here. So it almost covers all the parts of the WooCommerce like the price, currency, labels, the product part, and the card, checkout, payment gateways, shipping, invoice part. So it actually it covers a lot of sections of WooCommerce. So I'm just gonna show you how to add a currency switcher to your WooCommerce store using the post of a WooCommerce website. Let's see step by step. So go to WordPress dashboard, WordPress plugins, add new section to add the post of a WooCommerce plugin to your store. Search for post of a WooCommerce. See the plugin install now and click on activate. You can see the plugin is activated. Click on the setting section, take you to the booster setting section. You can see the whole module modules over here, like the one we explained before. So I'm just gonna cover the multi currency. So let's go to the Setting section of multi currency. So, right, okay, click on the wrong one. So, here, this is a plan switcher. So, I'm going to go to the settings of multi currency, currency switcher section. So you can see the options like you can add it as a widget or you can place it as a short code wherever you want to place it. And also, the PHP code how to do it. So, I'm just going to enable this module. We can also have documentation section so you have all the features stored up in the documentation then you can see the end of rates manually and also one more option will be there if you're using booster plus like by using the conversion rate module you can see the currency exchange rate module is over here so you can use that one more option will be there if you're using booster plus and if you want to enter the amount for each currency separately for each product then you can just enable this for variable products and all and, uh, and an option if you want to make it a cheap phrase so i'm just going to disable it for now and if you want the customer not to check out by using switch currency then you can use do not reward button like they can switch the currency they whether you want the shop page they can switch to if like, for example i'm going to take Indian rupees and usd if i'm going to make it as INR as my default currency and usd as another one so i'm gonna switch to usd and see the products in my shop page but i can't check out with the usd as my currency so when i click on like the revert on checkout page only so when i reach the checkout page my currency will be automatically switched to the default one so i will be checking out using the default currency only for cart if you want to do it on the for cart page you can do that and if you want for both you can just click here also so I'm just not gonna reward it and just gonna keep it as a switched gun itself. And if you want to do any rounding for the amount, you can do that. The precision you just want to add it and uh, switch a template what you want, like currency name and then the currency symbol or the current symbol then the currency name. You can just rearrange it, whatever, however you like. And then these are the just compatibility sections like can see the enable fixed coupon if you want to value change according to the current currency you can just enable this and this all the current compatibility section so for now you can skip that and we can go to the currency option so for this we can only add two so you have to go to booster plus if you want to add more currency so this is my default currency in the entropy and i'm gonna make usd as my second currency so I'm just going to keep that conversion rate as 0 0.013. So 
and these are the role default if you want to add or manage any custom role you can do it from here so for now we can skip that so just click on save changes so when i go to shop page for now you can't see any currency switcher over there because we haven't added it so for now you can see there are no changes you can see you can't see any currency switcher here so if you want to add it let me show you how to add it as a widget go to appearance widget section you can see booster multi character over here i'm just gonna add it below the header so i'm just gonna drag and drop it over here gonna name it as change currency and i'm gonna show it as a drop down if you wanna radio this or link list you can do that i'm gonna make it as a drop down then save then if i reload my shop page you can see all these are in copies and i can see my currency over here and you can see my title so you can see my two currencies i'm going to make it as usd so my all the stuffs are changed to my usd right can see the conversion is also 10 and my currency is also changed so i can now see the products with the usd rates if you want to add the currency switcher if you want to make this currency switcher in the product list here and also in the product detail page over here you can do that with a short code available so let me show you how to add it over there so go to the Settings again, you can see the book for booster settings too. Go to booster settings, go to the multi currency settings. You can see the shortcut. If you want to show it as a drop down, you can select this one, or if you want to show it as a radio list, you can just select this and as a link and then this shortcut. So I'm just gonna show you just. So drop down so you can go to the product. You can see a product info over here. Go to settings of product info. So you can just edit whatever there in the product pages. So I'm gonna enable this module too in order to show that. So it should be very easy for me. So I'm gonna remove this shortcut from here. I'm gonna add it this over here to show in the product list. And also want to show you in the product details. I'm gonna uh, change it here also. Save the changes. And when I reload my site, I can see the current switch over here. As so, also I can see it in my product list, which is my shop page. You can see it over here too. So how you add it in the product info, the currency feature in your product info. So I'm gonna add to cart. So let's add it to the cart, let me just change. Let me go to the checkout directly. You can see this is in my dollar rates for now because I have not click the revert button over there so let me show you what happens when i'm gonna revert the changes in the checkout page so i'm going back to dollar so i'm going back to the car page and then you go to the currency switching settings see here i'm gonna revert down the checkout page, revert my currency back to the default when I'm gonna check out when a customer gonna check out. So hit the save changes and save. Now from here when I try to go to the checkout section, so currently now I'm in dollar, so I just need to show my products in INR back to the default currency. Here it goes to default currency when I click on the revert back to currency. So I can't check out 
with the updated currency. So I, I am seeing only the default one over here. So if you want to add rates manually for each product, you can do it from the product detail. Just like edit a product. You can see over section over here. So you can enter your price for each currency and all the currency rates are will be updated over here. So this is almost the thing that you want to add a currency switcher to your Pokemon store. So it is pretty much easy to add a currency switcher and with a free version this whole book. So that's all guys. Maybe we will cover next modules in the next videos. Thanks for watching.